2001 to 2009, the recorded net income of the top 1,000 corporations in the Philippines had ballooned more than five times, from 116 billion pesos to 756 billion pesos, while the wage lagged from 222 pesos to 291 pesos over the same period. While the overall costs of products and utilities continue to skyrocket, the current 456 peso daily minimum wage with regard to purchasing power or the buying value of the amount in the market is barely 363 pesos. In response to this, House Bill No. 375 filed by Anakpawis Party List seeks to enact a 125 peso across the board nationwide wage increase for minimum wage of workers in both private and public sectors. The party list contends that there is a huge disparity between the workers' wages and the capitalists' profits. But despite this, the business sector is resisting the 125 peso across the board nationwide wage increase bill. They deem it as a threat to small and big enterprises and investors that might snowball to massive job layoffs and unemployment and eventually defeating the very purpose of the bill. Welcome to Opposing Views, a hard, straightforward discussion of today's most pressing issues. The 125 peso across the board nationwide wage increase bill has passed the House committee level early this year after being filed and refiled in the previous Congresses. The proponents believe that it will help the minimum wage earners in the country, 700,000 of which are based in Metro Manila. But the other side believes that a large increase in wage is more harmful than advantageous to businesses. Our question, is the 125 peso across the board nationwide wage increase justified? Good evening, I'm Rod Pomoseno, and this is Opposing Views. All right, joining us uh, tonight in our discussion is Elmer Labog, Chairman of the Kilusang Mayo Uno or KMU. Uh, Elmer, good evening. Uh, ano yung two thoughts, uh, two cents worth mo, I mean, on, on this uh, issue? Good evening, Rod. Good evening to our uh, viewers. I think the uh, 125 wage hike uh, nationwide is long overdue. It is just, mm -hmm. it's reasonable, and I think it will give uh, uh, workers an impetus to the very low wages that they have at present, and uh, it will uh, give them uh, relief. Uh, although temporary in the very high prices of basic uh, items and commodities. All right. Uh, also with us uh, is Mr. Sergio Ortiz Luis, Jr., Honorary Chairman of the Board of Governors of the Employers Confederation of the Philippines, or ECOP. Uh, Mr. Serge, good evening. Your uh, good thoughts on this? Good evening, Rod. Uh, good evening, Elmer. Uh, well, let me dispel the idea, for instance, that uh, any across-the-board increase benefits all workers. Let me emphasize, there are 42 million workers uh, we have. Only 16% now uh, are uh, benefited by any, uh, any increases uh, across the board. These are the ones in the formal sector. Uh, so anything that we give benefits uh, only 16% uh, and probably will cause harm to the other 84% who are unemployed, underemployed, or are that regularly employed? All right. Okay. So, so the uh, the the, okay. the crux of our debate for this evening is the 125 peso wage increase. Now, uh, from the looks of it, no, uh, Elmer, I'll start with you. No? From the looks of it, like, and if you kind of average out, yung, um, uh, all the, the the minimum wages no? in the region and as well the NC, and NCR, this is uh, tantamount to around a 30 percent increase, no, 31 percent increase more or less. Around uh, So. Is this, um, this is quite significant. Uh, do you think that uh, this is justified? We feel that it is uh, justified, especially with a survey uh, mm -hmm. lately coming from Ibon Foundation saying mm -hmm. that uh, in terms of the production cost, it will eat up uh, to 12% uh, mm -hmm. uh, of, of the total production cost. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is important to note that uh, wages of uh, workers uh, do not... Uh, uh, are not uh, uniformly uh, distributed. Mm -hmm. I mean, if uh, you have uh, uh, four, five, uh, six in, in Metro Manila, as you go farther away from uh, Metro Manila, the wages of workers are much lower, mm -hmm. especially in the regions of uh, Visayas and Mindanao. And thus, it, is, it becomes uh, reasonable that uh, workers 
outside of Metro Manila should uh, uh, receive the same wage uh, increases or mm. wage uh, levels mm. uh, 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 as their uh, worker counterparts in, in right. Metro Manila, Manila. Will receive. Well, we, we, we would rather uh, always leave uh, wage increases uh, exactly to the tripartite board because it might not be perfect, mm. but I think uh, it's the farthest from emotional or political uh, appreciation mm. of what will be the impact on the economy. It does not benefit the uh, uh, majority of the workers, mm. but rather it's disastrous for them. It's because it's always accompanied by, when it's not profit, uh, breaks of profitability, uh, what happens is that it's a push co cost push, mm. and nag increase ng price yung, now, yung sir, mga uh, Do you think though, with the increase of the, the prices of public utilities and, and, and goods in general, don't you think that 125 pesos is fairly reasonable, uh, considering all of the increases that you've had uh, with, uh, with, with MRT fares, LRT fares, uh, public utilities, electricity, water? Since 1990, when that was first proposed, I think the increase has been much, much more than that. Mm -hmm. It was never given in one shot, but every mm -hmm. year there were increases uh, ranging from, well, uh, from anywhere from a few pesos to, to I think, uh, one of the highest was about mm -hmm. 40 at a certain right. So m much, much more than 125 so over the, over the period, no? was, has been given uh, over the period. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, yeah. uh, at the time, uh, one of the things that we were providing for investment was that uh, our, our salary is, uh, is, uh, is uh, just about one of the, in the lower ranks. Mm. Uh, we have overtaken almost everybody in the region. In the region. All right. And, and uh, that is the result of giving okay. increases every so, year. Well, I, th I think the, uh, the uh, uh, previous increases up to the crumbs that has been given 10 pesos lately mm. is not enough to... Uh, really commensurate the 125 across the board nationwide. Mm -hmm. uh, adding to it the characteristics of being nationwide and across the board, and I think that this is much more. Mm. Uh, secondly, I think uh, if we were to, to, to look at the statistics, there are 5,000 uh, mm -hmm. Philippine workers that go abroad mm -hmm. uh, every day, and that uh, shows that uh, the uh, neighboring countries would still offer higher mm -hmm. wages compared to what we have in the Philippines. Now, uh, presently, you need about, uh, according again to Ibuna statistics, you need about 1,000 pesos and 3 centavos a day in order to cope up with the family living wage. Mm -hmm. And yet, even if you add up uh, 125 to 451, uh, which, which mm -hmm. would be the present uh, minimum wage in Metro Manila, then it mm -hmm. is far much far away from the uh, uh, right. family living wage. And so this is much lower if you, go, you, you uh, consider right. the uh, present level of wages. No, no, Sir, what, uh, what do you say to, say to that? Uh, considering that the, uh, according to studies, they need 1,000 pesos or a little over 1,000 pesos yeah. to, for um, the family wage, no? the family living wage. And, and even with an increase of 125, you, that, that's way below. That's like half of the family living wage. Okay, uh, again, let me start by saying Anything that we give will only benefit 16% mm. or 6 million at the most mm. of our workers of 42 million. Yes. The thing is, uh, we have actually changed the definition of the minimum wage in the Philippines. In the parlance of minimum wage in the world, in, in, even in the ILO, it is an entry level. It is not meant to be mm. a family wage. Uh, look at it this way. Uh, when you compute the living wage, you have to include, if there are two workers in the mm. family, mm. you have to include the salary of both. Kung nagtitinda-tinda yung asawa na may sari-sari store, mm. it has got to be included there. Mm -hmm. Kung meron silang mga pension, it's got to be included there. If the government is giving pre-education, pre-medical, it's included in the family wage. Mm -hmm. And the workers that are in the formal sector, the 16 percent that I'm saying, are already enjoying at least, kung isang malaki nagtatrabaho, that as against the others who are not enjoying anything. Mm -hmm. I think the priority should be given to the unemployed and underemployed. Yun ang kailangan eh. It's not a question of uh, if you give to one, uh, the others can be given also. If you give to one, what is happening here is you take away from mm -hmm. the rest. Elmer, should we have uh, a more, 
should I say, productivity-based uh, wage increase. Because in this case, parang across the board, parang I, I, uh, ang nakikita kong point ni, ni Serio nga is that across the board. Eh. So whether you're productive, whether masipag ka, or whether you're, you're, you're a good worker or a bad worker, you get a 125 peso wage increase. It, medyo outdated ba yung ating wage increase uh, uh, petition? Uh, should it not be based uh, on productivity and also profitability of the company? Uh, yung uh, sinasabi ni Sir, sana, oftentimes then not uh, sa employment, isa lang naman talaga yung ano, eh, nagtatrabaho. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, if you, the the wage the uh, rate of uh, wages of workers are much mm. lower than those mm. workers who are mm. not uh, regular employees would be receiving much much lower wages. Mm. Take the case of uh, contractual employees, mm. which are the more uh, dominant yeah. uh, status of workers uh, presently. Mas mababa ang kanilang mm. sinasabi po. And and therefore, yun yung pamantayan eh. Yan yung right. gauge gauging level. No? Mm. Kung ito lang yung uh, wage level mo. Yung uh, contractual mm -hmm. and non-regular employees mas mababa, mas would mababa. Ma ma be, so, be uh, paid much, much lower. So, like, in so in other words, basic significant one, right. one, two, five. All right, at this point, we need to take a short break. This time, let's take a, a look at our viewers' opinion on the issue through our online poll. Our question is, is the 125 peso across the board nationwide wage increase justified? The results, 45% said no, while 55% said yes. Join the discussions online, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash solar opposing views or follow us also on Twitter at opposing underscore views. Use the hashtag OV wage hike. We'll take a short break. More issues about the 125 peso increase when opposing views returns. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're still watching Opposing Views. Still with us, Elmer Labog, Chairman of the Kilusang Mayo Uno, and Sergio Ortiz Luis Jr. from the Employers Confederation of the Philippines. We're asking tonight, is the 125 peso across the board nationwide wage increase justified? Now, uh, Sergio, um, with this increase, will, do you think prices will, will snowball? Because obviously with the increased uh, wages, then the, the, the products being manufactured by manufacturers, for example, will, will have to be nece will necessarily increase the cost of manufa ma manufacturing these goods, you know, and then later on passed on to, uh, uh, to the consumers. Is, will, will, is that inevitably going to happen? Well, uh, according to the NEDA study, which they did uh, because of this uh, filing in 2011, mm -hmm. I think, uh, necessarily they are saying that uh, those companies who cannot afford it and, uh, and did not close down or did not trim down workers, uh, they will have to increase the price if the market can afford it. If the market cannot afford it, then they simply will be uncompetitive and they close down. Mm. But if not, it will be a push on the prices because yung presyo nila, ipapasa nila sa public. No? Mm. Now, although 16% lang yung kumpanyang apektado noon, noong totally na may mga empleyado, pag nagtaas ang uh, isang tindahan, eh magtataas din yung iba. Mm -hmm. And remember, uh, as Deda says, the impact of that that will be paid by the workers because 125 is 280 billion. Mm -hmm. 280 right. billion to get out in the market in a year mm -hmm. certainly will be disastrous. Right. Uh, and the other thing that we uh, have been always saying, hindi lang this is only disastrous for the whole economy, mm -hmm. but for the 84 percent who mm -hmm. that, that the price will go up, they don't have regular income, they are unemployed, and yet they have to contend mm -hmm. with the prices that that, that uh, increase because. 60% were given right. higher. Eh, hindi pa binibigay 10 piso na mumu eh. Tuloy-tuloy ang pagtaas ng presyo ng bigas. Mm -hmm. Presyo ng kuryente, presyo ng tubig. Mm -hmm. Ang langis at gasolina, tuloy-tuloy na tumataas. Mm -hmm. Yung uh, presyo ng MRT-LRT, nakambang tumaas. Eh, saan pupunta yung 10 piso yan? Di dagdag mm -hmm. lang dun sa, mm -hmm. sa bigas. Tapos yung mm -hmm. sinasabi ni Serge na 
non-wage earners, hmm. ay magbe-beneficyo yan. Sana mang increase sa mga, ng mga manggagawa. Dahil kami pangunay sumasakay ng jeepney. Kami kumakain sa turo-turo. Kami sumasakay ng tricycle. Mm -hmm. Kami ang kumakain sa uh, bumibili sa maliliit na sari-sari store. Mm -hmm. And therefore, merong may purpose, merong mm -hmm. uh, so, may, uh, ano, may uh, negosyo ng iba. Impact dun sa non-wage earners. Uh, yung increase okay. na yan. Okay. Yun yung cycle na mangyayari dahil kami naman ang bumibili sa kanila at uh, nagpapatronize. Now, uh, itong 125 pesos, no? across the board siya, so applies to everyone, so it also applies sa mga sa mga small and uh, medium scale businesses, di ba? I mean, siguro yung mga large businesses whose profits have, have really grown, na, na uh, minsan double, no? over the past 10 years or so. But uh, itong mga small and medium scale businesses, ito yung mga, of course, the, the profitability and minsan their cash flow is not that great compared to the mga big companies. Parang in a way unfair to them, di ba? Kasi 125 pesos din. Ang 125 peso increase to a small and medium scale business is is different to a 125 mm -hmm. peso increase sa, sa, sa big businesses. So what can you say to uh, that? Ironically, uh, yung ang big business ang nagre-reklamo, pero nakakausap <laughs> din okay. naman namin yung small okay. and medium. At uh -huh. ang pangunahing mga sinasabi nilang problema sa uh -huh. kanilang pagnenegosyo ay yung presyo ng kuryente at tubig, hmm. yung uh, liberalization of uh, commerce na pumapasok ang maraming uh, foreign products na hindi makakompete yung local uh, pro production natin. At pangatlo yung matinding corruption gaya yung oh, nangyayari okay. ngayon. Yun ang mas pangunahin. At yung oh. rampant smuggling na hanggang sa kasalukuyan ay hmm. nangyayari sa right. gobyerno. Kaya mas yun yung sinasabi nilang problema. Nakakausap din naman namin. Ah, uh, okay. Mga small. Small. Now, uh, Sergio, um, is it fair? Uh, to, uh, in, your, in your mind, do you think that there should be a different... Uh, Uh, increase when it comes to large-scale industries and small and medium uh, enterprises? There are about 820,000 enterprises in the formal sector. 99.99% well, 99 are small, are micro, small and medium. 99% of those 100. Yes, and I think yung micro is the big bulk of it, no? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think, uh, I would say that uh, at least 56% or 60% mm. yeah, uh, is, is the number that I see. Uh, you large are the ones who are already paying high salaries and they are the ones who can afford. These are the multinationals, these are foreign companies, mm. these are the power companies, banks. That they can afford. They're already paying much more than what is necessary. The problem is you cannot come up with the law uh, applying it only to them mm -hmm. and applying what the, the micro ones cannot, cannot pay and make them shoulder it. Uh. Mm -hmm. So across the board, across the board. As a matter of fact, on an enterprise level, the irony is, pag across the board, pati presidente dadagdagan mo ng 125. Pati mm -hmm. general manager dadagdagan mo ng 125, which is really uh, a little... A little uh, awkward because uh, what will it do to them? Pandagdagaw siya. Talaga yung 125, dapat siya. Mm -hmm. yung, kung meron mang increases, dapat do sa talagang uh, meaningful yun. Okay. Now, uh, Elmer, don't you think that the, itong matter na to, no? rather than to legislate it, uh, should we just leave it to the wage board? Kasi yung mga wage boards, they, they review, they, they, they take into consideration, I would assume, na, they're doing their homework, na they're studying inflation, they're studying the prices of rice and everything. Uh, should we not leave it to them and maybe you can just try to influence them ika nga, uh, rather than Hindi. para making it legislated? Rod, uh, parati kami dihado dyan sa wage boards mm. na yan eh. I think uh, there are many factors that hasn't been considered by the wage boards. Sabi ko tulad nung uh, family living wage, mm. kadalasan malayo eh. Mm. Malayo yung uh, binibigay nila ang increases. Mm. Uh, factor that is the, pre the current ano, 10 pesos nga. At uh, yung, yung isang karakter na dapat ibasura talaga sa mm. wage boards, yung A regionalized wage uh, no, setting. No? Dapat tanggalin. Dapat talaga. Hindi, hindi totoo kasi na habang uh, uh, if you go farther away from Metro Manila, the, the uh, cost of living, the cost of living is uh, much cheaper. lower. No? It's, it's, it's not, not true. true. Especially when the regions are, uh, most of the regions are tourism-oriented uh, regions, mm -hmm. then the, the, te the tendency of prices is to go, to go uh, up. No? And if you live in Bacolod, uh, if you have, uh, say, SM, then you, you have the same price, but you buy... Uh, The same okay. items with much lower purchasing power compared to Metro Manila. Mm, so, okay. yun ang yung problema sa wage set. Now, now, in your case, uh, Sergio, do you think the, the wage boards are, are fair? Uh, they're listening to the laborers? Well, please? let's put it this way. 
we do not feel that the waste, tripartite waste board is perfect at all. But we'd rather, uh, we'd rather have that than the politicians doing it. No? Mm -hmm. Because at least there are rules that are being followed, like for instance, yung, what you mentioned, inflation. Uh, this year, uh, although 10 pesos was given, mm -hmm. I think it is dearer to reality because mm -hmm. the impact on the purchasing power of the peso uh, computed was only 7%. Mm -hmm. Therefore, 7 pesos lang sana yun. Ano? Mm -hmm. Last year, they began on 30 pesos. Oh, eh, no. Whenever the wage board comes with the issue, we, we comply. Mm -hmm. At least employers comply. But we filed the protest because mm -hmm. last year, if you will remember, wala namang supervening condition, bigla na lang nag-entertain ng, ng, ng ano. So mm -hmm. we filed a case against that. At the end, pag nag-usap-usap yung, yung tatlo, eh kung saan sila pumanig, yun ang mananalo. Mm -hmm. Last year, we were practically saying walang Hindi justification kaya. yung 30 because we were at the end. No? But the, the government decided it. In the past, pag uh, nagkakaroon ng stalemate, what mm -hmm. they do is they, they come up with certain... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, non-wage benefit, di ba? Yeah. Last year, wala silang maibigay. Uh, yeah. This year, I think, uh, medyo, like, medyo talagang... Like, Nag-agree kayo? Nag-pencil po sila, okay. no? Okay. We, 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 we uh, alam naman, both, both of us naman, mm -hmm. when we, you're negotiating mode ka, pag, uh, you, want, you want a win-win we, we all start with zero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They will start with one, okay. we will start with okay. zero. Elmer, do you think that uh, maybe yung middle ground dito will be Productivity-based increase, well, productivity, uh, I, I think than the, the Filipino board. workers for the past several years have been mm. productive. Uh, fact to this is the 7.8 growth rate, no? Mm. Uh, pinagmamalaki ng gobyerno yet sa hatian naman ng borotit niya, eh. walang trickle down effect sa mga maliliit na mama. Mm. Mas yun yung uh, proof, uh, uh, a very uh, concrete proof that the productivity is not a question. Uh, mm. in, in your case, if I may bat in elder, no? Two years ago, uh, they, I think they, they came up with a policy of yung, tri, yung, yeah. uh, yung two-tier system. Mm -hmm. no? Na, nag experimento sila kasi sa Calabar Zone. No? Mm -hmm. Two-tier system. Uh, well, initially, many of the, the employers didn't like it. No? But uh, since nandun na, pinabayaan ng mag-experimento sila. Uh, to a certain degree, uh, I hear it is uh, succeeding. Uh, and uh, and maybe we should give that a chance, no? Yeah. Because to us, hindi perfect yung 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 even the tripartite board at saka nagkaka problema every year. Eh, siguro we really have to uh, to go to a some sort of a productivity base because unless we do that uh, and we are a country na na hindi nagtitrickle down effect even the economy grow. The, you know, the economy is growing because it's accounted for by the 2% big corporations, not the small ones. Sorry to cut you off, Sir. No, unfortunately, we are running out of time and I wish we could have a part two. I can, think, can uh, I, uh, uh, can I uh, reply sure. shortly? Quickly, I'm glad very quickly. I'm uh, uh, mentioned about the two-tiered wage system, but we, I must say that we're strongly opposed to it because it with the uh, more... Uh, reduce the present minimum wage level. And right. this is true to okay. Southern Tagalog as well as nationwide. Okay. All right. Sorry to cut you off. Uh, unfortunately, we're running out of time. But thanks to our guests, Mr. Elmer Labog, Chairman of the Kilusang Mayo Uno, or KMU, and uh, Mr. Sergio Ortiz Luis Jr., Honorary Chairman of the Board of Governors of the Employers' Confederation of the Philippines. The 125 peso across the board nationwide wage increase will surely have serious repercussions both to the labor and business sectors. There is a need for a thorough and comprehensive consultation regarding this. Our policymakers must be careful and serious about this as a wage increase issue transcends political, social, economic, and cultural aspects of our country. President Benigno Aquino III and labor officials slammed many wage hike petitions several times. In 2012, during consultations with the labor sector, Aquino claimed that the Philippines has a higher minimum wage than neighboring countries even compared to Asia's superpower, China. But at times, the abundance of statistics serves as a red herring to more complex and more relevant issues at hand. It is plain to see countless empty dining tables and stomachs. The Philippines remains to be one of the most hazardous workplaces in the world, and there's no security of tenure. 
the Magna Carta for domestic workers has been pending for many Congresses now. And after quite some time, only a 10 peso wage increase has been approved for Metro Manila workers. Let's set another challenge to our government. Live for a day as an ordinary laborer. And from there, let us talk again about the appropriate wage increase to be given to our laborers who undeniably are the backbone of our economy. At this point, let's take a final look at our online poll. Our question is, the 125 peso across the board nationwide wage increase justified? The accumulated votes from all our online platforms, yes, it is justified, 60%, and no, it is not justified, 40%. And that's our opposing views for tonight. Tune in again next week for another bold and engaging discussion on the most relevant issues of today. I'm Rod Dipomuseno. Good night and God bless.